A Nation Divided. The five things you should know about the Civil War on its 150th anniversary. First, let's take a look at the graphic of the map of the United States, the Civil War. This shows in 1861 through 1865. You can see which territories are in yellow. Those were not states. You can see the Confederate states, which are in purple in the south. And you can see the Union states, which are in blue, mostly in the north and then some in the west. Let's begin reading. When the Civil War began in the United States on April 12th, 1861, it was the start of a dark chapter in the nation's history. Next month, people across the U.S. will com commemorate the 150th anniversary of the start of the war. During the next four years, you'll be hearing a lot about the Civil War. Here are the five things you need to know about the war between the states. One, America was divided over slavery. In 1860, Abraham Lincoln was elected the 16th president. At that time, the U.S. had 33 states. Americans disregarded on many issues, but the biggest was slavery. In most northern states, slavery had already been abolished. But in the South, wealthy landowners still relied on black slaves to work on their plantations or large farms. Southern states feared that Lincoln would try to abolish slavery in the South. After Lincoln was elected, 11 Southern states seceded or broke away from the U.S., which was called the Union. These 11 states formed a new country, the Confederate States of America, the Confederacy. Let's look back at some of the words we need to know. Abolish means end officially. Succeed means to break away. Number two, Lincoln wasn't the only president at the time. If you had lived in Georgia, Virginia, or any other southern state that, that seceded, you would have been living in a different country. In February 1861, Jefferson Davis was elected president in the newly formed Confederate States of America. The Confederate government had its own capital in Richmond, Virginia. The Confederacy also had its own flagged army and its own money. If you take a look back at the map, you can see the states that were part of the Confederate. You can see the states that are part of the Union. In the pictures below, you'll see Abraham Lincoln, who was the president of the Union States, and you'll see Jefferson Davis, who was president of the Confederate States. Number three, the Civil War was the deadliest war in U.S. history. The first shots of the Civil War were fired on April 12th, 1861. Confederate troops attacked a Union military base at Fort Sumter, South Carolina. For the next four years, both sides fought hard in many bloody battles. In all, about 620,000 Americans lost their lives. Family members sometimes found themselves fighting on opposite sides of the battles. You can see in the picture an image, two different sides, the Confederate as well as the Union States fighting against each other for the beliefs that they felt were right for their country. Number four, Lincoln's main goal was to keep the country together. Lincoln was against slavery, 
but he believed his first duty as president was to hold the nation together, even if that meant going to war. But as the war went on, Lincoln's message changed. On January 1st, 1863, he issued the Emancipation Proclamation. It freed slaves in Confederate states and made ending slavery another main goal of the war. Many former slaves from the Southern states later fought for the Union Army. Number five, the country faced a long road to recovery. The Confederacy surrendered in April 1865. The Union, the United States was once again one nation, but the recovery was long and difficult. Lincoln was assassinated just days after the war ended. The South was left in ruins and needed years to rebuild. Following the war, the U.S. Constitution was changed to end slavery and protect the rights of all African Americans. Even with these new protections, African Americans continued to struggle for true equality well into the 20th century. Some vocabulary. Assassinated. Murdered because of his or her importance or political beliefs. That's how President Lincoln died. Again, the Union States won the war and the Confederacy was no longer its own separate country. Slavery had ended because of the rules of the Emancipation Proclamation. But as we know, African Americans still continue to struggle for equality. If you look at the graph below, the Civil War by numbers, you can see three different columns. Category, the Union, the Confederacy. When you look at a chart like this, first look at the categories. The first category is number of states. You can see the Union has 25 and the Confederacy had 11. You could also count those on the map above. You can look at the population of numbers. That means how many people lived in the Union and how many people lived in the Confederacy states. You can see the number of soldiers. It is clear that the Union had more soldiers than the Confederacy. You can also see the total number, number of soldiers and people killed in both the Union and the Confederacy. Even though the Confederacy lost the war, they had less deaths or people killed. You can also see the numbers of the total wounded in the Civil War in the Union States as well as the Confederacy. You can see an image of the two flags, one flag representing the Union States and the other representing the Confederate States. Kansas became a state in January 1861, West Virginia in 1863, and Nevada in 1864 became states during the Civil War. Number 